Hey guys, what I'd like to do in this video is show you a very useful cryptocurrency asset management service called Shrimpy. This service is 100% free to use. There isn't any charges for trades or anything like that. There is an optional extra where you can follow people and follow their trades and pay $4 per month. But that's optional. You really don't have to pay that and the rest of the service is free. Um, this is a very useful solution if you're looking to balance your portfolio. What this can do is allow you to rebalance your portfolio and keep a certain percentage of your portfolio in particular coins. It works with a range of different exchanges, which I'll talk about in a second. But for example, if you wanted at all times to have 50% of your portfolio in Bitcoin, then if the price of other coins went up or down, it would buy or sell coins accordingly so that 50% remained in Bitcoin. So this helps you put some, you know, to ensure that a certain percentage of your coins are in stable coins, risky coins, speculative coins and all that. Very, very good. And again, free to use, guys. So what I would like to do in this video is show you exactly how this works. So disclaimer, this will be a long-ish video. I'm not going to just scrimp over and, you know, just kind of jump over and um, show you this is what it does, this is what it does. I want to kind of break down exactly how it works, show you every aspect of the dashboard and look at the white paper, etc. So it will be a long-ish video. Um, second disclaimer is that, well, you, well, it's not really a disclaimer, I guess, because most of you know that I'm more of a cryptocurrency miner at this point. Over the last 12 months, most of my energy, most of my attention has been on cryptocurrency mining. Now, of course, I am registered with lots of exchanges. I have bought and sold many coins, but I'm not trading every single day of the week. And I, I know there's a lot of other traders out there. There's a you know, many of you who watch my channel and you guys are more experienced than me in this area as far as what coins to buy and sell on a regular basis. Um, it, it shouldn't really affect this review per se because I'm really just going to be showing you how it works. Um, but bear in mind, because this is the first cryptocurrency asset management service I've used, I really can't draw comparisons between Shrimpy and any alternatives out there. So I do apologize about that, but hopefully you will find the video useful. The last disclaimer is that the founder, Michael McCarthy, who got in touch with me, uh, he got in touch with me recently, sent, sent me a very small payment for compensation for taking the time to look at the uh, look at the service, check out the white paper, test it all out, etc. Um, you guys know, you know, I haven't really accepted many payments for this. I, I do get a lot of approaches to do that, but um, it's very appreciated. You know, I really do appreciate uh, Michael for doing that. My channel doesn't make a lot of money. I spend a lot of time on it. So I really do support people like himself who are supporting my channel. Uh, bear in mind, this doesn't influence, whenever I accept a payment, it doesn't influence whether I like something or whether I don't like something. But there really isn't an issue here because this service is free to use. It's free to sign up. You can check the demo. And what I'll really be showing you today is, you know, just the back end, showing you the dashboard and showing you exactly what it can and cannot do. So, yeah. Anyway, disclaimers out the way, let's get to the actual review. Um, so this is a website here, um, navigation area, you can see there's a demo, backtest, FAQ, blog, and then you can log in and register. Now, I'll be showing you the demo area. I'll also be showing you another test account. Now, this test account was set up uh, for me by Michael, and essentially it's the same as the demo. The demo's pretty much a full account, except it's got you know some things restricted. For example, the settings area, but I did want to show you the settings area, so I will um, show you some things from that demo account as well. And I'll go through the white paper and all that. Um, there is an FAQ page. One thing I didn't like about this, see the FAQ page here? It's, you know, the, the text is bold, and then when you scroll it down, it's also bold as well, so it's kind of hard to distinguish. You know, when you select all like that, it's hard to see what the question is and what the answer is when you see it like that. Certainly as in my uh, monitor. But there is an FAQ page on Reddit, so I will link to this. This has got some, you know, common questions and answers. I'll link to this in the description area. You can check it out. It's, uh, most of these are actually on the FAQ page. You can see, you know, common questions here. How much does Shrimpy cost? 100% free. Uh, take no fees or payment. Um, what else have we got here? There's some other common questions. Which coins could I pick for my portfolio? What exchanges does it support? I'll show you that in a second. Um, so there's a, a lot of common questions and all that there. So I'll go back to the home page for a second and I just want to quickly show you their summary of what this does. Maybe they summarize that a little bit better than I do. Um, where we go? Okay, so there's the social aspect I was talking about. You can actually follow people and for example, if 
if you wanted to follow me and follow the trades I was doing, you know, follow what percentages I was using, you could follow me. I would, you would have to pay like $4 or so and I would earn those $4 for you following me. So it's kind of in my benefits to have, you know, to keep checking and make my portfolio well. If I want to be a leader, I can not only make money from my portfolio, but from others following me. So that's a really uh, interesting idea. Certainly as someone in my position, someone who's a beginner as far as daily trading goes, this is something that's very interesting because I can look at what others are doing, I can compare them, and I can automatically rebalance my portfolio based on what others are doing. So it's got here the rebalance. This is you know one of the main parts of this. Rebalancing is what we do best. Simply select the percentage of each asset you would like to hold and Shrimp Pay will perform trades to maintain those balances. Spend less time dealing with exchanges and let Shrimp Pay automate your trades. Offline, offline assets are supported as well. So this is really interesting as well. This is something I'll explore when I'm showing you the, the, the dashboard area. You can actually keep a lot of your assets off the exchanges. So you don't have to put all your money into Binance or another exchange to, to actually use this service. You can only put, a, you know, you only have to put a, a percentage of your uh, of your coins on the exchange and you can keep the rest of it on a hardware wallet if you prefer. Um, and it's got monitor and all that. Uh, of course, 2FE is supported. Um, it's worth noting in case anyone doesn't realize this, but they don't actually get access to your login details. They will use the API for an exchange and they will connect that way. Um, so there's the team. Michael is the founder. It's, he comes across as a really nice guy in email. Um, so yeah, there's a website there. Now, the back test, there's, there's a back test thing that allows you to kind of test and, and you can see for yourself how it all works. I've not explored this too much if I'm honest, um, but it is there for anyone who wants to use it. it says here 0.25 trading fee. So there's a trading fee if you want to use this and you want to use this to actually rebalance your portfolio to test it out to see how it works. But, but I, I would... You know, I'd prefer to just sign up and use it, but you know, it's there if anyone wants to use it. Um, I want to show you the white paper, right? So the white paper is linked on the home page. You can see it there. And just to clarify, the this white paper, you know, it's not there because of an ICO. They're not trying to get investment. They're not, you know, trying to get any money from anyone. This really just does explain what the the service is all about. So. Go down here, you can see 37 pages. Of course, this is a video. I'm not going to sit here and explain every aspect of this white paper. This is something you need to read in your own time. But if you go down here, you can see what the, um, the white paper is all about. What it does is give you a very good understanding of how this all works, why it's there, and how the service tackles common problems. So you can see here the start of the rebalance period. If you start off saying, 25% in this coin, 25% of that coin, 25, 25. Over time, because of the fluctuation of prices, your uh, portfolio might jump from $1,000 to 1200, uh, $1,200, but all of a sudden, the blue, you know, the coin that's marked blue here could be up at 30%, but only 20% of your portfolio is now invested in this coin because it perhaps it went down in price. After it's rebalanced, it's back to 25, 25, 25. That really is how it works, and that's, you know, what it's there for. Um... It's got thresholds there as well, as in you don't want it to go over a certain amount. Um, what I like, what I like about this white paper is even if you're not going to use this service, it's got some really interesting explanations here. So it talks about here common rebalancing scenarios. It's got a pump and dump. It's got hodl rebalance evaluation. Pump and dumps present an opportunity for rebalancing to increase the total holdings of a portfolio. These same opportunities are not available for, for portfolios which simply hodl through a pump and dump. Um, so they've got flash crash and recovery, sideways movement, slow death, slow takeoff, sharp decline, sharp sharp jump. I was ne I was nearly saying sharp jump there, <laughs> sharp jump. Um, so it's got all these um, different scenarios that you would see in exchanges, you know, with with regards to the price of a cryptocurrency, and then it tells you what happens if you hodl, and then what happens when you rebalance, it and then it evaluates it. So check out the white paper; that's quite interesting. It's got some other things here about the backtest. So this is explaining that a uh, backtest area, which I was talking about. Um, so this explains that as far as general backtest setup, as far as tracking data and all that, asset portfolio. Um, hands up, guys. I, I've not tried the backtest myself simply because I you know, examined everything through the demo area, and that's how I got to know this service. So there's a good explanation about how all that works here as well in the white paper. And yeah, 
that goes into great detail. As I said, I don't want to bore you guys too much with all of that. But if you do want to learn more about the service and, you know, just get a better understanding of certain situations that happen when you're hodling your coins and you've got a range of different coins, it is worth checking that out. It's a very good white paper. So, enough about that. That's the back test I was referring to. So here's the demo area. This is the demo area that anyone can see. You can go to this de demo area right now if you're watching this. Go to shrimpy.io and then go to the demo page and it will take you to this demo. But what I want to do is jump over to the, um, the demo account that you set up for me. So this is like a, a private account. I asked for this to be set up because I wanted to you know, check how it all works as well. So the dashboard area... I'll talk about this in a second. You can see it monitors everything. Before I look at the dashboard area, um, what I'll do um, is go to the settings area, right? I think it's better to do that because this is what you would do if you signed up for Shrimpy. You would first have to go to the settings area. And you can see there, you set up the account, Kevin will do, and you can enable multi-factor authentication if you want to secure your login. You can show prices in Bitcoin. Um, exchange. Okay, so this is where you would connect your exchange. So right now you can see it's connected via Binance. And if I pull my, oops, that's the wrong one. Of course, that's the wrong one. Um, nearly took the whole window away there. Um, so you can see connected to Binance, but you can also see that at the very top of the page as well. So you can see Binance is connected at the top. Now, when this service first launched, you could only connect to one exchange per account. So you connected, you know, if all your coins were in Binance, you could connect it there. Um, but he sent me an email recently and Michael was saying the, the new feature is the ability to rebalance across multiple exchanges. So it always supported multiple exchanges, but what you had to do was set up an account for each one. But now it supports rebalancing across all of them. So if you've got certain coins in Binance, certain coins in Bitrex and certain coins in, you know, somewhere else, you can balance all your accounts and you know get the allocation that you want across all of those exchanges. You aren't limited to putting all your coins in one exchange. So that's really cool. Um, so you see the new feature is the ability to rebalance across multiple exchanges. Um, you just need to create one portfolio and Shrimpy will, Shrimpy will buy and sell assets on each exchange you link to reach the target allocation for your portfolio. So that's a very cool feature. So this account that Michael has set up for me, you can see here it's connected to Binance, but if I click here, you've got Binance, you've got Bitrex, you've got KuCoin, Coinbase Pro, Polynex, and Kraken. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and really, if you just want to connect a new exchange, you, you go to Bitrex and then you get the API key or secret. And you will get that from your exchange. You, so you will log into Bitrex.com, you go to the settings account area, and you will be provided with an API key and secret. And this allows Shrimpy to connect to your account on Bitrex or KuCoin, Coinbase Pro, etc. There is a referral system. They will pay you 50% commission for the first three months of any payments. So again, the service is free to use, but if someone goes through and then uses one of those social aspect here, which I'll show you soon, someone goes through and pays that, um, you know, uses that, they will pay you 50% commission for the first three months. And then any referrals, any payments for someone following you will be in this area. So that's the settings area. Don't have to bore you with that anymore. Let's get to the 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 real part of the review. This is the dashboard area. So um, I'll hide my webcam just now. So this is the main dashboard area. And again, you can go to the demo area and see this for yourself. And I'll, I'll maybe jump between these just to show you different examples. So here we've got the dashboard. So what it's showing you here is that the portfolio is $404.98. And $26.40 was made since yesterday. You can see it went up. And that's an increase of 6.97%. Now, if you go down to the bottom area here, you will see a breakdown of the portfolio. You can see Bitcoin. You can see Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Tether, Litecoin, Cardano, and Monero. And for each of these, you will see the actual dollar value. And again, if I go back to the settings area, I can change that to Bitcoin. Um, it's got the actual percentage, so that's 35.69% of the portfolio. Ethereum is 13.19%. And then you've got the actual number of coins. So I've got 0 0.02108 Bitcoin. I've got 0 0.244 Ethereum. You can see the difference from the last time checked there. And um, you can see I've lost some in Ethereum, but I've made in Bitcoin because that's went up. 
Now, there's an option to rebalance now, but you can rebalance things on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Whatever you want to do, you can set it so that it rebalances when you tell it to rebalance. But I could rebalance this right now. Now, if you take a look down here at the actual percentage here, this isn't how it was set up. Now, you know, I, I was saying earlier about um, this is less of a review and more of just looking at, you know, how this works. I want to show you how this works, but go out and check out some other reviews there. I found one review here um, from, oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong page there. There, um, Harsh a Grabble. Um, so there's quite a few reviews in this, uh, on blogs and there's a few reviews on Reddit as well. One of the things he pointed out, and I saw this in the FAQ later, was that when you are changing an allocation, you can only change a whole percentage. So he says it here, when setting up an allocation for a coin, the number has to be whole and can't be a fraction. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is that when you go to the allocation area, you can see here 35.69% is actually what is, you know, how it's split right now. But when you go to the allocation area, you can see how this is actually split up. Bitcoin should be 25%, Bitcoin Cash should be 9%, Cardano should be 6%, etc. Now, as the, F the FAQ does point this out, but um, as this blog points out as well, you can't, in this area, you can't say I want 25.2% or 25.5. has to be a whole number. Now, I'm not sure why they've done this. Maybe it's just to simplify the whole allocation process, you know, to stop people saying 25.1%. You know, and then they put in, you know, 33.9 and then at the end, maybe there's 0.2 or 0.4 missing. You know, maybe they've simplified it and said, make it all up, add up to 100 and just use whole numbers. I don't know. But I think they should offer, I think they should offer that. It is one of the, the things some people are criticizing it for and saying, why isn't there an option for 25.5 or 26.2 or whatever? So here it's got allocations. This isn't what your alloc allocation actually is in your portfolio, but this is what you want it to be. So what they're saying here is, I want Bitcoin to be 25%. I want Ethereum to be 15%. Now, when you go back to the dashboard area, you can see that Bitcoin, because it's been up in price, is actually 35.69% of the portfolio. And Ethereum is only 13.19%. So when you do a rebalance, and I'll bring myself back in here. When you do a rebalance, um, oh, I keep choosing the wrong window. Right, sorry about that. Um, when you choose a rebalance, what it will attempt to do is do some buys, you know, do some trades, some buys, some sells, and it will try and get Bitcoin down to 25%, and it'll try and get Ethereum up to 15%, and it will change these so that the actual percentage will change to what is allocated. Now, obviously, it's never going to change, it's never going to stay at this allocated amount long term. Never. It's never going to change it because prices are changing all the time. But every time you do a rebalance, that's what you end up. When it's rebalanced, you will have 25% of Bitcoin, you'll have 6% of Cardano, etc. So if you look at this, if you're trying to get down to 25% of Bitcoin, then obviously you're going to get, you know, 10% of your Bitcoin there sold. Not 10% of your total Bitcoin, but that has to go down from 35.69 down to 25%. So when you click on rebalance, it will show you... Um, it will, it will sell a percentage of that and drop it down so you've only got 25% Bitcoin. So Bitcoin will be sold to fund the purchases of Ethereum to bring that up. Now, you can actually see this yourself. If you go to the history page, you can see a manual rebalance, allocations change. This is all here. And it'll be the same in the de demo area if you go to history. Um, all the different things. Scheduled rebalance, scheduled rebalance. And the manual rebalance here, you can see here. So when, it, when a, a manual rebalance was made, there was $16.67 of Ethereum bought, there was $48 of Bitcoin bought, but then $9 of Litecoin was sold, Bitcoin Cash was sold, US dollar Tether was sold, all these things, all these coins were sold in order to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum to go back to where the allocation should be. And every time you do a manual rebalance, so it will be something different. You can see in this one, they've actually sold Bitcoin in order to to make all of these small purchases. Now, again, there will be a trading fee from, in this instance, Binance. There will be a trading fee, you know, when you connect to the API and you do a trade, there's always fees. And there's a note in the FAQ that if you're on Binance, for example, if you have BNB in your portfolio, then you will get the benefit of that and you won't have to pay as much in fees. Anyone who uses Binance will know that, that if you hold BNB, you will get reduction in trading fees. Um, 
So you can see there, yeah, another manual rebalance here. That one sold Bitcoin in order to purchase all these other coins. And whenever, again, whenever a manual rebalance is done, it's all to try and get from the actual to get closer down to what you actually want it to be. So that is the you know that is the point of all this. This is what you're trying to do. It's got the, all the other assets here, but you can see there that um, it's got all the percentages percentages down the right hand side here. And of course, I could change that. I could put that up to seven percent. Put this one down to seven percent. Change the figures around, and then when I do a rebalance, it will change things up. You can make Bitcoin fifty percent if you want to change it. You can do whatever you want. Now, one of the things you may have noticed there is if you look at the the Bitcoin there. It's got offline, it's got online, it's got blacklist. Now, see the offline part? That means that $68.99 of the Bitcoin, so of that $144, $68.99 is actually offline. That isn't actually on Binance. It's not on Binance. It's on a cold wallet. It's on a, it's on a hardware. The orange one means it's on an exchange. So as, as, as I was saying earlier, you don't have to hold all your funds on an exchange. You can hold it across multiple exchanges or if you prefer, you can keep some of it on, for example, a Ledger Nano or something like that. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, if you go over to the wallet area, you can see how that works. You can see you can add a new asset. Um, it's got Bitcoin there, $68.99. That tallies up with um, what was there, $68.99. And when all the you know the different things are changing, you always have 0 0.01 Bitcoin um, in the cold hard uh, the cold storage here. But the price obviously changes, so the dollar value will change there. But it's quite interesting that you can do that. You can add any um, you know cold storage balance at any point for any coin. Now there's a I'll link to these articles so you can check them out. There's a, an explanation about this here on Reddit, keeping coins on the exchange. Um, and you can see Shrimpy App has, re um, has replied. You don't need to keep all of your coins on the exchange in order to use Shrimpy. We have integrated a feature called Wallets. You can use this feature to specify which assets you hold offline. These assets will then be included in our calculations during rebalance. And this way, you only need to keep a small, a, a small percentage of your assets online to rebalance. Now, of course, it could affect a trade if you, know, if you put too much offline. There's a better explanation about it is here as well. They've got a full article about it. I'll link to this in the description area if you want to see, you know, more details about how it works as far as uh, offline and online. Here they've got blue is offline and orange is online. And you can see here that, you know, the different um, the different percentages they have of offline and online. So that explains how it all works there. Pretty cool feature. I, I like that. I think it's a really cool feature. So if I go back... Um, just I'll just quickly show you the public demo. This is a public demo, and you can see this one's got more money in it. This one has got seventeen hundred dollars in it, um, and this one, you know, Quantstap, EOS, a lot of different coins here, um, you know, being used in the portfolio. And this one made one hundred forty-two dollars yesterday. The allocations are very different there as well. And if you go to the history, you can see that the schedule rebalance there took place. Schedule rebalance. There's the different coins that were bought and sold to make sure it was rebalanced. Yeah, works really well. It's really cool. So, social. Okay, so just to clarify, this was this was something I wasn't sure about at first. Now, he he, you know, we were speaking about this. I was speaking with Michael about this, and he says that. One of our main benefits includes automatic rebalancing, but we also have a social program where leaders earn $4. So basically see here, I've got my profile. I can set myself up as a leader. I just put my username description and the description will be what, you know, the username description is what will appear here. You can see some people here have got their Twitter accounts. Other people say what they're trying to do. Binance, one hour rebalance, seven assets. Other people say a perfect mix here, three high cap, 17 mid cap assets. Everyone explains what their, you know, what their, uh, their portfolio is trying to achieve and they've got an explanation of it. But you can set yourself up as a, as a leader. And he said here that you will earn $4 for every referral who signs up, but you also earn $4 for anyone who follows you. So followers must pay and leaders get $4 for every follower they maintain each month. Now, 
as I said, the service is 100% free to use. If you're just using the dashboard allocations and all that, you don't have to pay any extra money. But if you want to follow someone, you have to pay four dollars. Now, I'm not at this point. I'm not 100. You know, I'm not 100 sure on this. I haven't seen anything to suggest that they take a cut of that. I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure they don't. But um, so I believe it's four dollars to follow someone, and that four dollars goes directly to um, the person who you're following. Um, but I couldn't say anything in the FAQ about this. That, that's why I'm just bringing this up right now. If if I'm wrong about that, I will leave a link in, uh, a, you know, a note in the description area. But I believe it's four dollars to follow someone, and then that four dollars goes to, for example, Bacon with Elo or how do you say that, Macalicati? I don't know. Crypto vitamin. That's easier to say. Um, now, and this account that I've got here is limited to one one follow, and you can say you must stop following that person to follow that person. When you click on someone's portfolio, you can see exactly what's going on. Um, so this is what they've got. Performance, 8%. Over the week, they've lost 3%. But over the month, they've made 58%. The rebalance schedule is every hour. And you can see here, you can allocate there. Um, you, there's automatic rebalance. You can follow them, then do an automatic rebalance, a manual rebalance. And you can see the split that he's got there. 5% in Binance coin, 20% in Bitcoin, 4% in Cardano. Whether you um, you know follow this person or not, um, you can look at these people and look at all these different traders and maybe just pick and choose what you like with you know with someone's setup, with someone's portfolio. So yeah, I think this is really good. And you can see the top here, sort by performance, one month per uh, one month performance, one week performance, one day performance. You can sort by followers as well. And people with a lot of follows, you would think, you would think are doing quite well if a lot of people are following them. Um, and you can see, you know, there's some people and they've only got three or four coins in the whole portfolio. There's other ones like this, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%. This person's got a lot of followers, but you can see the month he's made 3.88%. But you're going to have that. You're going to have people that have got more stable portfolios and, 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 you know, the way that the portfolio is split. And you've got other people that's maybe a little bit more volatile. They maybe make 50% one month, but the next month it could go down 20%. And um, there's a chat area and a history area there as well. So again, you know, that's $4. You might, you know, that might only be your only expense all month if you do want to spend money. It's 100% free to use. You're not going to charge for, the, for fees out with what the exchange will ch uh, charge you for trades. But if you do find someone that you like, then, you know, you can just look at what they're doing anyway. You can look at what their split is. This person just got, you know, Ripple. That's not really someone to follow, I guess. Um, you can just look at what others are doing. And if you want, you can just kind of pick and choose what they're doing. But you can set it up so that it's automatically allocated and it will just follow what they're doing. And this one, you can see here, rebalances every single hour. And your gains... Their gains will be your gains. Essentially, you know, if, if they lose money, you'll lose money because you'll be following exactly what they're doing. So, yeah, that, I think that's a really, really cool feature. But, the, you know, the bulk of it here is going to be handled through the, the allocations area. You, this is where you specify what you want your portfolio to do. And you can see how performance is in the dashboard area. Going back to what they were saying in the white paper, though, in addition with that, you, you can... You know, you do have to watch out for things like crashes and things like that. But I think that something like this, if you are doing daily trading or weekly trading, this is going to save you a huge amount of time, a huge amount of time. Um, you know, I, I think for a lot of people, they really don't want to sit on exchanges all day long and put in buy orders and sell orders. I know some people do that, but I would say that most of us who do have a portfolio and do want to increase the, you know, the, the, the actual price, the, the wealth of our portfolio, we don't want to sit there all day checking it and checking trades and going up and down and all that. It's very time consuming, especially if you've got work and you've got other things to do, other commitments. And this is where a service like this can really come into its own because you can just follow people that you that you like or you can just you know set up yourself and say, I want 50% in Bitcoin, I want 10% in Ethereum, or maybe put 5% in a risky coin. And you know, beyond setting up and you know connecting the API to the exchange that you're using, you don't really have to do too much. So you know, there are some things that they they perhaps could add is, you know, like the percentage. I, I don't know why they don't have the decimal. Perhaps it's maybe just to avoid any any problems with people having 1.2 or anything like that. But I think they should add it. They should give you the, the option of using uh, fractions. 1%, 1.2%, 1.5%. 
hopefully they'll add something like that in the future um as i said i haven't used a lot of these services myself so as far as what could make this better i'm not sure you know I, i'm fairly impressed with what this is uh, you know the way that this is set up i like the the dashboard area i like you can see how much your portfolio is i like that you can see how much you went up or down yesterday as dollar uh, as dollar uh, as a dollar amount or by percentage i can set it in a uh, in bitcoin as well if you prefer um for me i think dollar value looks a little i mean it depends how much money you've got but i think dollar value makes a little bit more sense for a lot of people uh, unless you've got a, a huge amount of bitcoin but um yeah it's very you know it's very easy to look at that it's very easy to track you can change from day week month all and you can see how your portfolio has changed over time um I, I like this i really i really do like the idea of this i really do like the idea of you know with my coins on a certain exchange i can link them link them to shrimpy 100 percent free of charge and i can say well you know sell it if the the volume if the price goes up sell it and then use it to buy some other coins keep 50 percent in this coin keep some money in some risky coins keep some money in some safe coins so i'll leave a link to this guys please do check it out for yourself if you want to learn more check out the website check out the faq page check out the white paper if you want a really deep understanding of how it all works but if you've watched all this way you know all this uh all to the end of the video you should have a good understanding of what this is all about so sign up give it a try and um, and see how you go on I hope you've enjoyed the review, guys. I've tried to be as thorough as I can, but, you know, there's always something you miss at one point. But um, you will find, if there's anything I have missed, you will find everything on the website, in the, in the white paper, in the FAQ page. You'll find it all there. Um, in many respects, it's actually quite a very, it's, it's quite a simple service to use. If you look at it, if you look at the interface, etc., it's very user-friendly, very simple to use. So, yeah, I highly recommend trying it out, guys. Thanks to Shrimpy for setting up the test account and all that. Um, go to shrimpy.io to check it out. I was quite impressed with it. I I'd like to see some more services like this and test them out and see how it compares. But my first impressions of Shrimpy were very positive. So I recommend checking it out, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, take care.